Hey guys, how's it going? Jonah here. And we're going to be making an XML parser. Not just in this video, it's going to be several parts for sure. Uh, this video is going to be mostly project setup and then we're going to read a file just so we're actually doing some coding. Um, this is my first kind of tutorial on YouTube, so I think any and all of you have decided to watch this. Um, I think it'd be a fun challenge to create an XML parser in C, so that's what we're going to do. I don't know exactly how to do that yet, but I can't imagine that it's too difficult. I've been working pretty closely with parsers um, for the past couple years, and for my job, actually, that's um, what I had to do for about eight hours a day for a couple weeks, so I'm pretty familiar, so uh, we're going to be building our own parser uh, for sure, so that'll be fun. Uh, just an educational experience for everybody involved, so we're going to go ahead and just get started right away. Um, I already have a directory created, so I'm just going to pop into that. And I'm going to be using uh, Visual Studio Code as my code editor. Um, I'm very familiar with it. Um, yeah, I can code quickly in it. Um, so that's what um, I'm going to be using. You guys can choose to use whatever you want, Atom, Sublime Text, Vim, if you're daring. We're just going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start out with the make file. So if you want to just make a file called the make file in your directory. Um, we're going to put a couple things in here and this will expand as the series goes on. We're going to have a lot more source code to work with um, but for now we're just going to have one uh, sort of uh, file for now. So we're going to uh, do a couple of things here. We're going to do the all. I don't know what these are called but this is a this is like a target I suppose and then there are dependencies right here so um, all is gonna is gonna require um, an executable which we're gonna call um, XML we'll just call it XML and XML or no just XML it just requires this why don't we just let me just do all of it. I'm not very familiar with make files. I generally have a template that I made once that I understood about three years ago, <laughs> but I don't anymore. So I think this is correct. Um, the rest I can assure you is, is correct though. Um, so we're going to have a couple of things here. We're going to have um, the XML target. So this is going to be our binary file that we compile. And this requires the object file. Sorry, the object file that we will be compiling. And in order to get here, we need to actually compile it. And I'm going to be using GCC. Um, if you're on Windows, you're probably going to want to be in Visual Studio. I'm on Linux right now. Um, I would recommend uh, Linux for any C programming. Um, but if you're on Windows, you're going to want to be in Visual Studio. And this will probably all be set up for you. You won't really have to do this. But um, we're going to use GCC. We're going to call the C, no we're not, we're going to take that. So what this says is to compile, uh, to link this object file and it's going to output the executable. Um, but now we have to get this somehow because we haven't been, we haven't done anything with that. So we have the XML object file now as a target and our dependency will be the XML C file, which we will actually be creating ourselves. So this is where this chain kind of ends. Is if you can kind of see this, this requires the C file. And then this uh, binary output requires the object file that we've created here from here. And so it kind of links all together um, in that way. Sorry if I'm not very good at speaking. It is 12.30 in the morning. But we're going to go ahead and try to do this anyway. So use GCC. Now we'll use the C option and we'll take our source code and output an object file. And I'm going to go ahead and just do the um, dash G there. I don't know if that's required up here or not. Um, this just means we'll have debug output. If anything goes wrong, we can debug our uh, program. I'm actually used to using LLDB. Um, so it'll be interesting. I'll have to look into GDB. I think GDB is better, so I'll have to learn how to do that again. Um, regardless, um, so this is the compilation phase. We're going to compile our source code into an object file, and this is the linking phase. 
where we take all of our object files, which happens to just be one right now, and we create an executable with it. And then this all command just means that we can, actually, no, I'm gonna get rid of that because we don't really need that. So if we run make XML in the terminal over here, it'll, yeah, okay. Uh, no rule to make target that needed by that. Um, okay, because there's no file, that's probably why. So that's the command we'll be typing to actually make our parser, uh, which we can get into right now. We can start making the parser right now. So I'm going to take XML, let's see, and we're going to get started right away. We're going to include the standard IO. I don't want that. And we're going to include the standard library. Um, if it wasn't already a little bit clear, I'm not and I'm not going to be teaching you how to code in C necessarily, but um, I'll probably go over some of the more complicated details. Um, you should be familiar with these if you've coded in C before. Um, we'll be returning zero as per the standard. Um, and let's read a file. We're going to, I'm going to create a directory. I'm going to call it um, test. We're going to want to have some test files. And I'm going to just create first.xml. Um, I'm not really sure uh, what to do um, with this. I'm trying to think of a thing, and I'm completely blanking. Oh, man, there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing good. Absolutely nothing good. So we're gonna, we're just gonna do like soda. We're gonna. Sorry for those of you that say pop or something, but we're gonna do soda like that. We're gonna have. Or no, we'll, we'll do, we'll do drinks. Sorry, that that was really dumb of me. We'll have a. We'll just have a drink. We'll do. Type name we can do coke type uh so again I don't, I don't really know we'll do pepsi so we just want to load we just want to load this file um which isn't terribly difficult to do and we'll eventually have this function in a different file but for now we're going to do it here it's because I can't see my keyboard with my microphone on the way. I'm not good at typing. Anyway, we're going to have a function. I'm going to call this read file ASCII. We're going to read an ASCII file, which is what this is. Uh, and this isn't like a standard XML file, but it's just an example for now. And uh, I'll come prepared the next episode for um, for a better example. But... We just need something to read right now. I now come to think of it, we didn't need an XML file to read, but you know we'll we'll deal with that. So um, so we're gonna be returning the text that we find um, uh, that we load, and we need a path to that file, and so we will pass that in. So that'll look like this. We're gonna get source read file ASCII, and we'll just go into test first.xml. When we load that, I'm going to go ahead and print it out and then we're going to free it because we're going to be using heap allocation in here. Um, probably not best practices. Um, I'm not really sure the semantics of um, ownership or not the semantics, the um, conventions, sorry, the conventions of ownership. Uh, we're going to do this for now because I know that it'll work. So um, we're going to create a file object, not really a file pointer. That will equal this right here. So what this says is we're going to create a file uh, pointer to a file, which just has file things. Um, and we get that from the standard input output. We're going to check to make sure that this isn't um, a null pointer. If it is, we're going to say error loading file that, and we'll put path in there, and we'll return null. 
Um, cause we want to make sure that our file is actually opening. If it's not, then we'll have a problem. Um, we also need to know exactly how big the file is because we want to load all of it. We need to know that ahead of time. So we're going to fseek, and this takes the file, which is fp. Um, the offset, which is going to be zero, and seek set. What this means is we're just going to make sure that we're at the beginning of the file. And since we just opened it, we should be, but we want to make sure. Next, we'll have the size variable, and we can... Or no, I did that wrong, sorry. <laughs> we want to go to the end of the file, that's right. And ftel just says the position in the file that the um, that the reader, I guess, is at. Because this file structure has a reader in it. It keeps track of where in the file you are, um, as long as you're reading things. And... Uh, and so this just this just says where that position is, and that happens to be the size. That happens to be the amount of um, characters that are in the file, and so we can use that later. This is where we need to go back to the beginning of the file. That's what seek set means. And this just is like plus or minus wherever that is. So if this was like two, then we'd be two characters from the front of the of the code from the top of it. From the top of the file. There we go. Speak. Um, next, we are going to create a buffer. This is what we'll be returning, but we need to actually allocate that memory on the heap so that we can return it over here. If it's allocated on the stack, it'll become garbage as soon as this uh, function exits, so we need to make sure that we're heap allocating it. Oh, excuse me. Um, in C, you don't have to cast a malloc or memory allocation, um, but just for um, just for code readability, that's what we'll do. Um, the size of a character should just be one. Excuse me, uh, almost universally, I think, but um, just in case, size of a character times size, and that's really all we need. I think we might want to put plus one in here. We want one extra byte for the end of, or for the uh, null terminator. We will read into the buffer um, size amounts, right? No, 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 no. One size. And then the file pointer. I think that's what it is. Basically, that just being we're reading into this buffer, reading that um, each byte is a byte long, technically just a size of character. Um, size is how many, how many of those, th these, how many bytes are we reading, which is we've found that out by going to the end of the file and seeing how many bytes there were. And then we're going to do it from the file pointer. We can close up the file now, which frees all that memory. And last thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to, because we allocated one extra byte, so we'll go to that one extra byte because we're going to start at zero. So we can go to size and that's basically size plus one. And we will null terminate it. We will return the buffer. And that should be it. So I'm going to go ahead and just hope that that's right. I'm going to make XML. As you can see, it compiled everything for us. We don't have to run these commands. Um, and like I said, we will, we will modularize that code to uh, work in our favor so that um, we don't have to edit the make file anymore. It will just keep track of all the files for us. Um, and so now we have an output. We have a binary we can run. We will run it. And it loaded our file perfectly. Look at that. It looks exactly the same. And that will conclude the first part of this series. Sorry, that was a little bit um, lackluster. <laughs> kind of did this spur of the moment, um, not much research, but um, I figured file reading and make files, those aren't too hard, so we'll just start with that. We'll actually get into the actual parser in the next one. Um, we'll be creating our own uh, lexer. We will be um, parsing via lexical analysis, um, which is really fun. It's really hard sometimes. It's very difficult to debug at times, but we'll get through it. That'll be a longer one, but we'll get through it. and. 
Um, and that will probably be a lot of, well, we'll have to add things to it, but we can get very basic things down. Like we can get this, you know, and maybe we can get this and we'll find a way to programmatically define that. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're a fan, please like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.